So I got this call, and I hear this person asking me if we could build a giant 40-foot paper airplane. A uh, 40-foot paper airplane? That actually flies. One of the ideas we came up with was to take it on a helicopter with a 200-foot lead and then give a release to the cable and let the airplane go into a free flight after that. The paper plane I found fascinating for the simple reason that it ties into what we are trying to do, attract younger people. When the team presented their idea, that was really not the direction we thought any of the recommendations were going to be. Yes, I thought it was crazy, but fascinating crazy. The Pima Air and Space Museum now is going to inspire all these kids by having them there folding the actual airplanes for the airplane fly-off. It's going to be a one-day round-robin type of competition for kids in the community under the age of 14. Come up, participate, throw their airplane, see who's the best. The winner of the contest will be involved with the build of the giant paper airplane. Their name will end up being painted on the nose of the airplane and then they get to see this giant paper airplane flying in the air. Hopefully it inspires thousands of kids to really think in terms of anything is possible. This isn't something that comes around every day. Will it fly or will it just crash to the ground? The thought of it crashing is quite fascinating to me. I can honestly say that this is probably the craziest project that we've ever been asked to do. If you don't do crazy things, nothing great would ever happen. The possibilities for what could go wrong are just as interesting as what could go right. How sick is that?